All right, Steiny and Guru, joined by Mark Willard and Dan Dibley. Man, where do you guys want to start? Um, <laughs> there, pick, pick, a, pick a positive, any positive. Oh, pick a positive? <laughs> Anything. TJD, I want to start with yeah, TJD. That, that's fair. Team star of the show. Start, yeah, I want to start with TJD. All right. Um, he has to be a part of this. I think Kerr's thinking that too he now. He has to be a part of this. And um, I say that all well knowing that, that I've spent a better part of this week talking about defining themselves and shortening the rotation and, and all of that. And, and Dibs and I have talked about it a bunch. And he kind of threw out a group of nine that didn't include him. And I kept calling it a wee little team because it, it is. It's too small. Mm. Um, but it's also more, more importantly because the Warriors – they're small people. They have small people who play big, Pajamski, Kaminga, et cetera. Um, but there, there's just – he's the only person on the roster that can do the things that he does. And he's got to be a part of this. Yep. And he saved that night. Yep. He saved it. And that, that – I love that. That stood out. And by the way, an extension of that conversation is, like, I think we're still trying to figure out where this is going. Um, but it's kind of funny on Bob Myers' night. Like, he's crying and everyone's yeah. giving him an ovation. Uh, this might be a better draft than Bob Myers ever had in yeah. his entire yeah. Warriors career. Yeah. This is an unbelievable draft that uh, it appears yeah. that Mike Dunleavy Jr. had in his first draft. How can you not say that? I mean, it's truth. Gary St. Jean was on with the uh, morning roast today, and he's one thing he was like, "How did how and why did Trace Jackson Davis go fifty five or fifty six? Whatever, I think whatever yeah. it was. You know what?" It, something it has to do with he played four years. Like he says, not, it had to do with COVID. He told you oh, and okay. I that Trace Jackson Davis said he thought he was going way higher, and the COVID ho- ho- every he he felt like that whole thing hurt his stock. We'll ask yeah. him tomorrow. Okay, got you. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Will Willard and Dibs, TJD and Steve Kerr. Yeah, that on now. the show tomorrow. Yeah, Don't you love when happened. somebody says Dibs? You love this too. Like when, uh, yeah, we're going to talk to Steve Kerr. Hey, can you ask him? Ask him. Always. Why? <laughs> ask him. Why? Yeah. I'm going to have a hard time not asking TJD to retell the story of when he was a very, very young child. I don't know if you read the Ron Kroichik piece that he wrote a week or two ago, but he had not one, but two devastating, like life threatening injuries. One when he was four. What? Apparently, he had tied one of his action figures onto a stretchy band and put one end of the stretchy band no onto a door handle, yeah. and he was pulling it as hard as he could, and the one handle breaks free and <gasps> cut him from ear to ear. Is that wh- oh, wow? Yes, that's so why. not only did it cut him ear to ear, but it caused him to have a skull fracture. So they took him to the doctor, and the doctor's like, yeah, this is pretty bad. And then they did an x-ray, and they're like, oh, wow, you have actually a skull fracture. So that's why he has the, the wow. scar. And then... Two years later, he was playing with a friend, quote unquote, and that friend hit him in the face with a golf club. Uh, I, I believe be on his eye, me, man. Fra- so I think he fractured his. And he was like six or seven six at that point. Four, the first right. one, six, the second one, I think. Yeah. So holy, I mean, for me, yes, TJD, great block oh, okay, shots. Point me right I mean, up. I want to go Roy yeah. Firestone on him and be yeah. like, you know, d- first of all, do you remember when you're four? And I'm sure yeah. he has some memory yeah. of that, and then the resultant surgery. And his life wow, with, you know, man. and his, the father that he grew up with is not the father that we all associate with him with, his actual biological father. He grew up with another man who. Oh, that you know, is. Wow, so th- there's man. a lot there that no I want to ask him, but I probably won't get into a lot yeah, of it did because not right know now yeah. it's all about this. And last night was wow for Big TJD. Body. Problem yeah. with you going Roy Firestone is you'll cry. I'll cry. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting yeah. welled yeah. up right now. You won't cry. No. You will. I'm yeah. great Roy Firestone. <laughs> I love him. Not know, gonna cry, Roy. <laughs> Dude, I will cry. You and I both. I mean, we're quick to cry. Yeah, that should you, be the name of our show. That's true. Quick to that's cry, true. two to six. Roy <laughs> had Cecil Filder on one time and the first question out of Roy's mouth, <laughs> the weight. Does it get to you? <laughs> and dude, Steiny, the first thing is so Cecil good. was like, if I could just grab your neck, he goes, does it get to you? I'm like, damn, Roy, dude. ease it in. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. <laughs> does it get to you? Yeah. Roy? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what he's doing, but I saw him somewhere in the last year or two. Yeah. 
That's awesome. That That's is. all. And he's a part of our whatever, not yeah. our youth, but our young adulthood. No when when ESPN was a thing, and <laughs> you had uh, you know Dick Schapp on uh, oh, man. <laughs> sports reporters. Yeah. And Dick yeah. Schapp, rest in peace. And you know you had uh, six in the morning Sundays. Dude, always reporters. you wake up and there it is. But anyway, uh, okay. last night Mike Lupica yeah. was on. No, that. there you yeah. go. Yeah, the yeah, big, yeah. The big joke was back in the day was you know he was kind of small, so uh, Lupica was only five six. But when he stood on his wallet, he was six feet. <laughs> yeah, right. that's pretty good. He made a lot of money back in the day. Uh, really I love to put a poll up in the morning. 76% shocker. People said yes, but do you think this Warrior team is headed for a run? Not will they I win the say, finals. No, it said. It said win it, it all? Yeah. Oh, boy. Well, I'll let Wait, you two go. Win it all? Yeah. And it was 76%? Now, yeah, I thought it was make a run. Oh, <laughs> win it all. Well, yesterday that's was not, a big... That's, that's not <laughs> reactionary at all. Yesterday well, was a big day can, for that. Can they win it all yeah. or something like that? I agree that. with that. Like, well, how would not only win? because they won, yeah. but Cat is now out for Man. four yeah. to eight or four to eight months. or I mean, we don't know how long he's out. LeBron with the sprained ankle yeah. as well. He'll be back. Yeah. Right. But I think yesterday... In and of itself, the win over Milwaukee was huge. And if Mil- if Minnesota doesn't have the cat, people want to play them. We hate that people would want right. to play Minnesota without for sure, okay. for sure. Yeah, I just look at it like, and I do think that's the question of the day, which is what did last yeah. night mean to you, each Warrior fan? What did last night mean to you? Here, here's kind of how I would answer that. The the stock answer is. They sent a message. They proved they can do it. I don't think the Warriors needed any messages mm-hmm. sent within the locker room, and I don't think that they needed to prove to themselves that they could do it. Um, and, and therefore, it's not like, okay, now they can sort of win in the playoffs. The way I looked at it was maybe from the reverse angle, which is this is a scenario. This is an NBA mm. circumstantial moment that lands in your favor, similar to what happened to Boston last Sunday. This is a circumstantial moment that is highly in your favor. <laughs> and if if you're a good team, you step yeah. into those circumstantial Knock it out opportunities. And, do, and that's what I spent the whole four hours talking about yesterday. This moment lands in your lap. If you're actually good, yep. you will kick their living butts. And, and they did. So does that lead to some sort of belief? I don't know if the word's belief. For me, it's more comfort. Okay. It's it like there is comfortability in the idea that the Golden State Warriors are here to party. Yeah. I, I don't know where they where how the party goes. I'm still probably not going to win a championship, but I like it's getting interesting. Yeah. It's getting real interesting, and and they're they're here to party, and they have the ability to step into those moments because they hadn't done it all year. Wow, yeah. they, all, they didn't all, kick the good team's butt all year. Nope. Yeah. Now all, they, now all they I, did. All I ever want is. For a team to be compelling, and they are totally, they are totally. And I'm, ne- and you were talking about opportunity, and it's interesting. We, they they go to Boston, they get hammered. Well, they are Boston tonight in a way. I get the Warriors on a back to back, but did you see the minutes that the Bulls players oh, played God. in Salt yeah. Lake yeah. City? Yeah. 38, 34, 36, 41 minutes. I mean, this one's there for them too. They just they got to dot their eyes and cross their t's, but they should win tonight. All things being equal, and they put out a, a, a legitimate effort. But again, like tonight's the kind of night where you can rely a little bit on the young guys. If you think some of the older guys might not be able to play 30, 35 minutes, well, okay, young guys, now we might need you to play a little more. But it's it's at home, and it's against the fatigue team, and we think we're better than them. Go win the game. Is that reflected in the number? I'm looking up. What do you guys, have you looked at it? It's seven it's and seven. a half. Seven yeah, and a half. Got enough. it up to yeah. eight. Yeah, yeah geez. Got it up to eight. My yeah. neighbor took a dubs minus seven and a half. My neighbor. <laughs> a guy I know. <laughs> Asking for a, He goes by the name Darrell. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> Betting for a friend. Right. Betting for a friend. Hey, yeah. That's the greatest. That's the yeah. Yeah. I will say this. Yeah. I told Stani earlier, and this is the biggest compliment because I've already apologized to Draymond. You know, I, I talk about him at nauseum about when he's what he does as far as the talking to the ref and 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 challenge. But Willard's dibs, I mean this. There were a couple times last night, I'm just seeing a guy in a word, the black warrior. I'm like, is he swinging? 
but he's playing like the Tasmanian devil and they're playing like the Tasmanian devil. And I used to say this to my two sons that play ball from the crowd. Make them feel you. Even if you're sitting there doing, put your arm <laughs> on his back. But that's what the Warriors are doing. And it doesn't mean they're going to stop the other team every time. But you could tell Giannis thought, oh, I'm going to do a spin move. I'm Giannis. And I'm going to just lay it up like play. The Warriors are making guys feel them. Does that mean they're going to stop you every time? No. But the ball got knocked out of Dame's hands yep, a couple yep. times. And you could tell for just a, a portion of the game, Milwaukee was assuming that the Warriors weren't good. They weren't going to fill them. And the Warriors, all of a sudden, they, they're playing with like ball pressure yeah. and, and kind a of a little bit grimy. Yeah, grimy. little grimy. And even Pods, who Dude, got, he him. got called for the block, even though he, he tried that to slide was. in. I thought it was a block. Uh, I, he might have been moving. Either way, it's Giannis and some redheaded rookie. Giannis is getting that call D-O-D, nine D-O-D, times out of ten. But, you know, the fact that he slid in there and took Dude. that, and then, you know, you had TJD. Swatting Giannis at the cup and just actively defending and the Warriors blocking what eleven shots Man. was that the number? So four for him, brothers. Yeah, yeah, brothers, yeah. They, the the Bucks scored the same amount in the second half that they now scored in the is, first quarter. Yeah. Man, yeah, wow. in the fourth. They are, so so you can you can give uh, and which you're great at uh, a, a a colorful sort of like deep answer like you just did, or in one sentence you could just say. Dude, they're playing great defense. <laughs> the Warriors are hey, yeah, so man. much. They are so oh, much man, better no defensively. No, no. Hey, no, I like that. Uh, I'm it's, with you. It's way more interesting and compelling. But like, the Warriors are really like the def- the defense they played in the second half was like get up off your couch and be like, yeah, what the hell is that? Like, and it started when Dre came back to me. It really did in a bigger Absolutely. in a bigger sense. Although I love that Draymond last night pointed out that in the third quarter he was awful, and and just for last night it was TJD that came wow. in and wow. saved his bacon. Wow, like that changed the game. They had cut it to six, and then maybe the I Warriors like, had gotten oh, it to no. eight. And then, T- would you block Giannis twice right. and then cup it at the other end? That, I asked you lit the what arena. That like? You lit the arena, <laughs> uh, and it never and it never went back. So, like, you know this, we all know this. Like, if you're actually going to do stuff in the, this is what I was getting at. If you're if you're serious about like making noise in the playoffs, man. here's your characteristics. You're good on defense. And you don't <laughs> mess with people yeah. at home. Exactly. And so exactly. that's Damn. what I wanted it to look like last night. And it yeah. it exceeded my hopes. Yeah. Thirty five point win <laughs> to, uh, over the Bucks. Yeah. Now we're now we're and cooking. a lot of that was window dressing, but the, the very Some fact of it, that you nine know, points in the fourth quarter. Right. Nine. You, you got to the point where with about nine, eight, nine minutes left, you knew that that, that thing was over. So mm. and that's the important part of it and, is and, and, and for somebody who parlayed that number with the under. I really appreciate the yeah. box for wow. only scoring nine That's points nice in the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah. My nose that. is deep in the uh, NCAA world as I far as gambling you goes. But your work. I still haven't watched yet. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you <laughs> missed Nifty yesterday, huh? Uh, Tennessee. Yeah. No, Tennessee, good little team. They are. And uh, I got UConn, you know, I, I I'm yet to really okay. decide. The team, honestly, and I think this is a year where you look for teams further down the seating yes. that can win it all. But the team that I've seen night in and night out that looks to be the best is Houston. Wow, the Cougars. They can defend. <laughs> they can score at all That's three Samson levels. The coach, and they've right? got Kelvin Sampson. Yeah, there you and go. And they, they're a team that was there pretty deep last year. Uh, yes, that, true. to me, they're, they're going to be the default team that everyone picks. And uh, I've got some sleepers, and I'll save those for next right. week. I did want to point out, Steiny, that uh, the idea of roofing somebody, sure. this is it's incredible. a volleyball term. Yeah. Volleyball. That's what somebody That's said. Where it comes from. I had yeah. wow. I've never, yeah. I've never heard of it either. Yeah, when you, I watched a hundred volleyball games, I've heard, I've heard of people getting roofied. Right. That's yes. what I That's said. It's, just it's very no. different. I know somebody yeah. who's actually been roofied actually. twice. You better be yeah. careful. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. No. That's, yeah. That's yeah. not too yeah. good. No. No. Yeah. No. Really. You could change your life, Dibs. It seriously. Yeah. And it was a very dangerous situation both times. But when you get roofed, it's when you go up to spike and the blocker. Has their hands over the net. My to where daughter. When you spike it, the ball goes straight down on you. Which makes sense. The, the roof, roof. Right. The roof, I was yeah. telling Stanley, I've never heard that. Yeah. And you don't on the see hardwood. A, you yeah. don't see it a lot in basketball. Usually block shots come at the point, at the high point, and it, you know, swatted. But when you go up and the ball comes right back down, like Steph last night, he got roofed 
on that one where he drove. Oh, yeah, that went and out. He flipped of, it the out. The ball yeah. almost popped. Yeah, yeah. 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 and he, that was a straight up roof. He well, got but, spiked. Yeah, basically, the ball never leaves your hands when you get roofed. Right, okay. yeah. exactly. Yeah. You're listening to 95.7 The Game, KGMZ FM and HD1 San Francisco. Always live on the free Odyssey app, Twitch, and YouTube, powered by First, First NorCal Credit Union. The other thing to me that stuck out a little bit last night, it doesn't mean the problem's solved, but we've seen the Warriors have big leads. We've seen the other team come back and cut it to six or eight. And it's at that moment where you got to bump that lead back up. Otherwise, you're going to go into the fourth quarter, and it's going to be a tight game. It got to six, oh. and then boom, it got back up to whatever it got up to. And it's it's really hard for a team to come back from 20, then get back down 14 or 15 and do it's. So they right. they answered well, the bell right. when the, I, the Bucks cut it to six. They did, and 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 here's uh, it, it leads me to do something that I have been very hesitant to do, and Dibs. Just get ready. You'll be very, very happy with what I'm about to say. You're going to rip somebody? No. All I'm going right. to do the opposite. Willard. I'm going okay. to I'm 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 prop up someone that I have not spent any time propping up uh, since arrival here with the Golden State Warriors. Oh, what, I love this. What so felt really, really comfortable going? in a moment like this where things were starting to get wobbly is oh, the 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 yeah. calm mm. and the decision making that was provided in those specific third quarter moments by Chris Paul. Oh, talk to me, Mark. Very noticeable. Very very noticeable. When he comes down the floor, I've never really watched a ball player like that, especially because our point guard is such he's a he's an emotional experience. Uh, he's flying around. There's body parts in different directions, and he's doing things that no one's ever seen. And so there's this v- deep connection with the Warrior audience to where they all know, like, a Steph p- three-pointer yeah. sounds different than all the other three-pointers. And so that's more like this religious experience. When Chris Paul, especially at this age, is on the floor, literally the body part that that, that stands out on the TV screen is his brain. Oh, man. And I, th- that feels weird, but you're what? Like, if you just spotlight him, it's like spotlighting an offensive lineman like Trent Williams. You just watch him and and watch the way he's seeing the floor and thinking where all five people are and the way he sets the whole thing up. And then when it works... <sighs> and throws that lob to TJD, uh, it's I, like they got some I, type of telepathy, I man. I get it. I get it. It's still I weird, but I get it. Came, no, but I see it. No, I mean, I, I was like, with you, man. Yeah, we're past that. I don't, you know what I mean? But he but, looks fresh too. He's stepping into his shot. Sure, it's another one. And of those. he's grimy on defense. He ain't no, you know, turnstile. Yeah, he's at just his grimy, age. grimy. Yeah. Period. But yeah, that's. I mean, we all we we've experienced that with Warrior basketball a lot, which is sometimes midseason injuries are a total blessing. How about? I mean, Draymond Green yeah. said his suspension is. There's no so, doubt it's helping them now. So we, we got a little Sally Field. So, so you like him. You you're, really you're, like you're him. You really oh, like him. That's Chris brothers. Paul. He's all right. <laughs> he's I want, he's I'm all watching right. him last night, and he's throwing this lefty diagonal 45-degree entry. It's a righty bounce pass. Good the Lord. way he looks at the game, and I like that you are kind of seeing it through his eyes. He sees a player open, and he instinctively knows what's the angle of the pass, how can I get it in the pocket, as you were talking earlier about putting it in the shooter's pocket. Yeah, yeah. The entry passes, the lobs, the simple passes. He's really fun it's to watch. Clay. Yeah, because yeah, we talked about no that. No doubt. Stani said he catch it in the pocket. The other thing about winning is when you win, the guys who weren't great, it doesn't matter. Like it just doesn't matter. Oh, like Clay, well, Clay was okay, right? Yeah. yeah okay. If they if they yeah, lost that Wiggins game, played fourteen we, minutes. Right, yeah. We would be killing Andrew Wiggins sure. <laughs> if if they had lost because all the build up. He comes back. He can't even stay on the floor. Yeah. He hits one shot. He's over there. They had the his back, and he's smiling over there on the fourth quarter like he didn't like Jimmy Garoppolo. He didn't give a rip, right? That, that like, was different. Yeah, but yeah. win by thirty five. <laughs> yeah. You're right. It's all good. Warriors uh, got the lead cut to six. Oh, man. And then Dibs. they went on a 19-4 to run through the the rest of the third and the first three minutes of the fourth, and that's when it was night-night. Did did Trace Jackson Davis come in when right at that moment, or you know, did he come in and it was nine and it got to six? And oh, then they there was a out. timeout, and then did, I feel like he was inserted two. into the game. Because the way Draymond yeah. talked about it, it was yeah. like we were in trouble at six, and he 
got in the game and boom. 93-77, right? Was yeah. that the... 83-77. Uh, yeah. Right, thank you. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah, 77 plus 6. Time out. Yep, thank and you. Trace Jackson Davis and enters for Draymond Green. And got, how, how much time is that? Five and a half to uh, go in the third. Five thirty-three. So, so seriously, think about that for a little bit. The Bucks have cut the lead to six. Yeah. Oh, man. Now you got to get Dre his rest. You could have gone with Looney yeah. there, like yeah. felt safer. He but clearly, he, by, yeah. by the way, prior to the block, block dunk, yeah. <laughs> first bucket out of the break was also TJD yeah. Yeah. off of a Clay Thompson pass. Huh? So he was felt right away. They got it to eight. Look at that. Curry hits a couple of free throws, gets it to nine, and then at the four minute mark, it's the block block dunk. Yeah. Block block I dunk. I want to show the Oakland guys. Not some duck love. duck goose. Not duck duck goose. Block block dunk. Dibs, because I know you'll keep it real. You too, Willard. But uh Dane just seems different to me. And I don't know if it's physically, but the explosiveness is not But coming like, off a forty one point game. Okay. His previous game. And uh I actually talked to uh a an associated family member earlier today. Whoop. Uh he happens to be my tax guy. <laughs> You know, <laughs> Wait, a friend of Dana's. Dame, oh, big I've Dame never Lillard's met him, but I know brother is your tax guy? Dame, Damian Lillard. It's like a stepbrother's okay. cousin's. Neighbors. It's, talk to me. I'm yeah. not, you know. Stepson. Uh, different people do family yeah. in different ways. Absolutely. No family, judgment. Family means a lot of different this things. This feels like a family member. And, you know, so we, we spent a half an hour in the uh, Safeway parking lot in Narinda well, exchanging yeah. documents and exchanging ideas. And, uh, you know, Dame... He was great a couple nights ago. Last night, you got to give GP2 some credit because he, not only he, but the Warriors locked him down. Moody, all they took of them. Away. Uh, yeah. pods, like, they harassed him. You. And, you know, Dame's a lot like Steph where if you really harass him and make it super, super difficult, now he's got to shoot that 27-footer, the 29-footer. Yeah. And if the wetter, Steiny loves that, nice. if the wetter's not going, then you're going to have a tough night. I also wonder if, and we're still getting to know this, I wonder if it's a view through a different lens because we've always watched Dame as a one. Oh, no doubt. And yeah. he's not a one anymore. Uh, and go so up and I try. He was on Monday. Then, he was on Monday. No, right, because yeah. Giannis didn't play. Oh, yeah, but yeah. I mean, like, I, I, you know, the it's way, be difficult the way that a team structures yeah. its, its right. game plan and strategy and whatever. It's a lot of the reason why he Adrian wanted Griffin out got, of Portland. No, but it's a lot of the reason he said this. He didn't say he got Adrian Griffin fired. Mm. He didn't feel a uh, uh, hey, traditional Dave. one hey. playing alongside Giannis. He couldn't just, hey, you Dave. know, dribble, dribble, d do his thing. Yeah, which he proved, I'm not he making no excuses. He proved he wasn't going to win as a number one. Yeah. Or he probably but my point I shouldn't is say he was that because maybe he could have been yeah. around a better team. But it was but, all about him then being a one. Okay, well, be careful what you wish for. Yeah. You wanted out of Portland. Now, now you're not... Uh oh, I'm not a one, and I'm yeah. playing with Giannis. Uh, yeah. uh, you're on the one of the best teams in the East. What's the problem? This is no criticism at all, but I have a hard time imagining a championship team with Lillard as your your clear best player. I agree. He got you to a Western a, Conference Finals he like did. that a couple years I, ago. I know, and he had yeah. a good guard. Yeah. You, you know, when he McCullum. and McCollum were playing yeah. together, he's never had um, you know a great a great front court player, but. I I, uh, right. I don't know. No, I don't know. You, it would have to be a really interesting cast around him for that to be the best team in this league. Yeah, I mean, if like if you during the Warriors heyday, if you close your eyes and say, "What if the Warriors had Lillard instead of Curry?" They still might have won it, but Maybe. the argument would be, "Well, Durant was the best player on that team." Okay, but what about pre Durant? Do they win they, that they, one? They, they uh, probably not. Probably well, I, not. I they should have won two pre Durant. See, I, yeah, but may, may, maybe but the answer is yes. But again, it would have to be, and it was for Curry, a very interesting cast around him, no doubt. Like Draymond's a special sort of a fit. Right. In got, fairness, Willard is never uh not Willard, <laughs> Lillard. Uh, <laughs> Curry, Curry made that you mistake once upon time. Lillard as well. uh, yes. <laughs> he's never had Damian Willard. You know, as great a team around him as Steph has had it at okay. times. That, right. I think we can all agree on that. Not even close. Yeah. Even now, this Milwaukee team is not as good as the Warrior teams, uh even pre K D or post K D. Yeah, What's I just up uh, with Brooke Lopez. We went in on him just, Wait, what happened? I mean he's just the out Warriors there. Just, he, I think he, his time I mean, might yeah. be what up. Is he, what is 36? he doing? Yeah, yeah, my only thing it takes is, him an hour to shoot an open three. He's been considered <laughs> a defensive Willard, I'm like, player of the year oh candidate. My gosh. And I'm thinking, what are we doing here? <laughs> Oh, you average more than two blocks a game. You're a defensive mind. player. I was, right. I was, you went in I was appalled. I don't know. He's I was a, appalled. He's a I used to like him, Willard. He's a seven foot one, two hundred eighty pound, thirty five year old man. Yeah. Exactly. Like that's. I I don't take what he looked like last night and now project that on who he was seven years ago. No, I do think the oh, no, was one of my favorite seven team. footers yeah. age differently. Yeah. I mean, that shocking. Is, he's still playing. That, that is one thing like that stuck the, out yeah. to me last night was. 
the Warriors just absolutely faster. They they absolutely torched him when they got him, and that's what they used to do when they were really good. They just play big guys well, off the floor. I think it's another another reason why last night's so encouraging. I don't understand how the Warriors are one of the best rebounding teams in the NBA, that's but it, they man. are. You watch the Bucks walk into the room. It's they look like it's the like Redwoods. it's like when you made the state championship as a high school team, and you're like. Oh my gosh! The guys from the city just showed up. Yeah, and they're all twice yeah. our size. Yeah. What the hell is this? No, no. That's what the Bucks look like when you walk in the room, and the Warriors are like, "We got one guy over six That's seven, amazing, and man. they get all the rebounds. It's all wheel, effort, like, and attitude. Yeah, there you go. Really, really, really good. Attitude. line one. Really right good. Hey, uh, what's your game plan tonight? I know you're going to the game. Like, yeah. how do you approach? Well, I'm going as a meaty guy today. So you're I'll going be, as a meaty guy. I'll be on the guy. straight and narrow. Okay, so I'm going like, as a fan. Are you going to the pregame? And yeah, I probably will. Yeah, I'm going to ask a question, or will you maybe, be maybe ask Curry a question? Oh, well, I don't know about if he's the available. Guys, available. You guys yeah, can help again. me with something. That, what do you want me to ask everybody? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. No, you guys can you, you guys can help me with something. I wasn't going to do this on the air, but since that just came up, yeah, I told you on Saturday. My Cal Poly broadcasting You're taking class, the game. They're all Spurs. coming. Yeah. They're all coming to Mr. see Mr. Willard to see Wemby. I know no, that's yeah, Professor boy. Willard. Do you? Dip. He's out tonight too, Wemby. <laughs> I know. Yeah. So we'll see if he even plays. But anyway, they're all they're all driving up from San Luis Obispo, all right. and it's the biggest class I've ever had. So this is going to be a like a, a, a just a <laughs> this is a terribly oversized party, and and but they are like the Warriors as classy as they always are are being so helpful, and the whole group will be in the back of Steve Kerr's pregame press conference. Okay. Oh, wow. There are going to be like 18 chomping at the bit 20-year-olds who are like, I want to ask Steve a question. How, like, how many questions should the group be allowed to, to ask? And, and oh. how do I go about deciding who gets to do that? All Like, I'm, I'm battling with these things right now. I always go right with now. the uh, Don Nelson Beat writers first. Yeah, well, yeah. Sure. So let those okay. guys sure. do their course, thing. Yeah. And then slays, there's, slays. Slays. when there's a natural pause, they can jump in. A natural and pause. That's where, that's the answer's where you, no more than three. Well, okay. that's where you would go. No right. more like, I don't want Steve, because they don't know. Right. They don't know that right. like Steve has to go. Sure. He has to coach the game now. Right. Because they'll all be like, right, I want mine. I want my turn. This is my moment in the sun. So they won't be scared. Uh, some of them will, will be. No, right. some of them will be. The ones who want to ask, the only way you can do it is to just do a random draw. Yeah. I mean, you can, I mean, you could do a meritocracy and, oh, I'm going to do the best students, but it's tough to tell at this do, point in the year, right? Do I make them preview the questions or I'll just let them fly? Let it fly. Okay. I, I would let, let it fly let just it fly. because that's what they, the environment they'd have to be in. Well, yeah. you could answer. And then it's a teaching moment if somebody's <laughs> like, Ah, oh, Steve, is your hair naturally blonde? <laughs> or uh, do the carpet match that's the right. drapes? Uh, guys, he has And you can bad. use it as a teacher. <laughs> he has his bad. Dude, he's got five hours to <laughs> make right, it guys. 17 yeah, hey, uh, yeah, where are you going tonight? Uh, I'm going, going to the game. No, I know. Where are you going now? Where do you go I'm going to take a walk around the city. You, this dude for four there. hours, pretty much. How's the hip? It's great. Yeah, it's great. People say it's made me nicer. Well, I would not quite. I, I, I can sleep tell better. Tell him to call me. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good place to end it, guys. Uh, have a great. It's gonna be a fun show today. Warriors drilled Milwaukee. All right.